Hello and welcome to my MIU 1206 Project 2 review video. This week we had to take last week's project, split it into two separate apps, a bronze and a gold app. The gold app is the one that we prefer. The bronze app is the one that is sort of our experimental app. As you see before you, this is my gold app. Um, I chose to do the drop down lists and as you can see, there's no data. I'm not gonna use the add item. I'm actually gonna use my JSON uh, data file. So if you come under info, slides up. And over here I put a button for load data. So I'm gonna click load data. It's gonna load the data from my JSON data file. And as some of the instructors say, voila. And there it is. This is all the stuff from my JSON data file. Um, now this is everything categorized by home or work. So as you can see, I only have a couple things for work. Everything else is pretty much home-based. This is all sorted by um, different projects, if you will. Uh, shopping, so you got your shopping list, different homework stuff that needs to get done, um, any any scheduled stuff, you know, appointments, household stuff that needs to get completed. So as you can see, uh, that all comes in from the JSON data file. So that was pretty cool. I tweaked this a little bit. Um, this is the part that I was missing last week, a little tagline to let you know what the app does. Then there's a clickable area right here on the four, which brings us over to this. These are the tasks that are due today versus the tasks that are not due today. Um, I have my headings here, and this is my searchable list. So if I come in here and say, you know, pick, um, it shows the pickup kids. I can exit that out, and it shows everything. So I got my search and my, my uh, drill down list now. Unfortunately, I don't have these actually linked to it, but these would actually drill down into the uh, details of that particular item. What I basically did was I had set these up to sort by date and time and then by priority. So basically it sorts first by the due date and the due time. So these were all due today. This one was due at 3.15. These ones are due, you know, at midnight. So this one comes first. These ones are after that. Now the priority comes in when, uh, like for something like this. You got everything's due on this day. Everything's due at the same time. So now it goes to priority and sorts them by priority. So you have the project two, which is the most important, the review video, and then the discussion video. Also in this listing is the clear all and the back which clear all add item info. We click here. As you can see, back, add item, clear all. So those those two buttons stay the same. It's just the info one that changes to back. And if we clear all, it clears all the data. And as you can see, there's no data left in there. Okay, um, then we got our info, which brings up some links here. This goes to the page we're on right now, which is the GitHub page. The GitHub account which is my main account for the master and then the bronze app which I will go to now all right so over on the bronze app I chose to do the the image grid in the front I have mixed feelings on this one I, I like it it's clean but the only issue I don't like is you don't get to the tasks the really the most important part of the app is the tasks y you're not there yet you know you can click here and get your listing which is great and then you can go back or add a new item. But it doesn't give you that, that browsable listing. This also has the load data and the clear all buttons. So I'm going to clear all. Local storage is already empty. All right, I'm going to load data. Data is loaded. Uh, we've got our info here. This is just some copyright information. Again, the gold app and the GitHub account. And add item just goes to the form. And I chose to put the tagline down here and just a little little information up here to let people know that the four is actually clickable. So anyway, for the most part, that's my app. Uh, I think I got all the requirements in. Um, I know one of my struggles is to actually get all the requirements in. For some reason, I, I read the paper over and over, and I still struggle with getting the, the requirements in. So uh, what came easier this week, however, is the fact that I actually did a lot of this stuff last week. I, I had all the menus done. I had to tweak the bottom, the nav bar a little bit, but for the most part, uh, very little work to get this where it needs to be this week. So that was awesome. Uh, as far as past experiences, if we had to do all the CSS by hand, it, it would take us weeks to get 
anything that looks remotely close to what it does here with jQuery. So as far as future experiences, all I can hope for is that we keep finding these little shortcuts. You know, we go through the the long way to do stuff to learn, you know, proper syntax and, you know, semantics and stuff like that. But hopefully as we go for further into this, we start learning more of these little shortcuts like jQuery and the other frameworks that actually allow us to get a huge amount of work done in such a short amount of time. jQuery is such a time saver there that um, I can only hope for more of that in the future. That's my app.